Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to Storage Hunter Simulator. I decided we'll do at least one more episode on this game because it's a lot of fun, and we only just got our pawn shop. So we got to see what this has to offer. But the problem is we only got $17. A few of our things have actually been getting sold, so I believe we'll have a fair bit to use here. But the next step that we need to do is choose a specialization for your pawn shop. Now, it's going to be a little bit tough just purely because... I don't know what we're going to get, but I presume it's going to increase the money or something. So we can actually take 507 bucks there, $502, I should say, which would be a little bit better and a lot good overall. But so items from your pawn shop specializations can be listed at 20% higher prices. The customers will then be more likely to buy them. So we've got to sort of suss out and have a squeeze at what we reckon would actually be best to delve into. I sort of think a household might be a good one just purely because we tend to find a lot of household things but uh that's something we can look at anyway because it's uh yeah we only got 519 bucks so we need to get back into buying some storage units and seeing exactly sort of what sort of things we can buy because uh just looking at things now i don't think we even have anything left in here nice we might actually just to for time's time's sake uh, we might just get the uh, employer to do listing stuff because automatic listing by employer, I presume he's going to just list things at market price. That'll be fine for now. I'm totally okay with that. So let's have a look at auctions. See what we've got. So 275 to start. Yeah, that might be one we can go for. It's a level 3 auction, which is really good. I don't know that we'll be able to buy it, actually. Just come and think of it. Uh, so we might whip out this one here. I presume that that's going to be in the next town, which is kind of painful. So I might, before we head over there, we'll sign up for this one. Why not? And let's see if we can actually afford to do it. That's the other thing. I'm willing to spend every last dollar I have to get this unit, but I just think it's going to go way, way out of our price range way too quick. All right, what have we got in here? Not a lot in here, but I presume that this thing's going to be worth a fortune. It's like an old torture device looking thing. A bit strange, but we'll see how we go. I'm hoping and praying that we can actually get this thing but i just i don't see it happening hurry up to 315. bidding's a bit slow to start so we might have a chance but it's starting to go up now 455. come on 495. can i throw in a last bid nah done done and done unfortunate means we're gonna have to head all the way up to the other part of town and i really hate doing that i've never successfully been able to find the junkyard auction before but i thought since it's a little bit closer we'll actually head over and do it and now they got the pointers i can actually find my way there and i think the junkyard's just over here so we've never done that one before it'd be really cool to see actually what we can find but i'm hoping it's some different things than we find down the bottom but if there's an auction that's got a hell of a lot of big stuff i'm not sure how viable that's going to be just because we don't want to do too many trips back and forward from here this is just a totally different thing. It's an actual shipping container. That's kind of cool. All right, what's inside? It's the biggest one in the row. And just like I didn't want, it's all big stuff. Yay. I'm pretty sure the start was actually kind of cheap. So it might be worthwhile doing. There's another dead corpse in the back of it by the looks of things. But eh, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. Might just grab the expensive things and just leave the rest. I don't know. Depends how much we have to pay for it. All right, we'll get it underway anyway. If we can get it for cheap enough, it might be worthwhile. But yeah, I just don't know. I mean, it started at 150, so it probably won't go too high. It might mean there's not a lot that's valuable either. But we'll soon find out. I'm sure we'll be able to afford to actually buy it because we do have the 500. I just wish there was a way easier way to get things back down to our pawn shop. These drives me mad having to do so many trips. Looks like we're going to get it, though. Oh, no. 370. Do we really want it, though? If it goes one more, we might just ditch it, but it looks like we're going to get it. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Uh, good little dance. I wouldn't be that excited to get this unit, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll instantly sell all this stuff here, and we'll just see roughly what things are worth. So $48 table there is not actually too bad. We only paid 370 which is pretty good. We've got a little motorboat here. Okay. Worth a bit. Uh, if we can fix it, it might be worth even more. 127 bucks. See, this kind of thing, I'm happy to take back. The rest of it, I might just let despawn. It might be a little bit of a waste, but I don't know. I just, I, I mean, we kind of need it, to be fair. But I just, I don't want to, like $31, that, that's half my full in one. So it's probably not worth it. 
But we'll see just what else we have in here. I think that this stuff's actually going to be worth a bit. Once again, 90 bucks. I'm not sure that it's really worthwhile. This water boiler did catch my eye. Thought it would be worth a bit more than that, but we'll probably definitely take that back with us. And just a corpse with a thing on it. Okay. Strange. But we'll take it, I guess. Um... <laughs> common household fan 87 bucks for that i'm really kind of happy with that to be fair that's pretty good little per but good find this could be worth a bit table 100 bucks not too bad yeah we're right down to the dregs now exercise balls aren't usually worth much something like that i'm more than happy to leave behind food container nine bucks not worth it what's gonna be in here this could be could be interesting and the box itself isn't worth much and there's something inside though blue tape nice uh, okay yeah great good fun three bucks not worth anything got a little hand saw see this sort of thing we could chuck straight in that chest and it'll be fine to go and it's just easy 10 bucks here 10 bucks there but overall it's a profitable enough unit it's uh it was $722 worth of value, which is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. So, I'm okay with that. If I can actually get this thing in here, that would be handy, though. And is this going to be worth anything? Uh, it's an actual Halloween spooky little thing. Halloween decor, worth $60. Bucks. It's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that, to be honest. Okay. Now it's just a matter of getting this all in the back of the truck to take back to our pawn shop. Thanks to our superior stacking skills, we got absolutely everything except this exercise bowl. Uh, I've got to try and get this fan back up here. But apart from that, everything, as you can see, is totally stable. Not an issue at all, but we're going to be able to get this all the way back. I honestly didn't think we'd get that much. But yeah, we did. And we should make a fair chunk of money off of this. Absolutely stoked with this haul. I just realized too there is another pressing issue i'm not sure we're even gonna have enough fuel to get back so we better quickly buy some of that hopefully it's not gonna set us back too far it's usually fairly reasonable let's uh have a look grab that it's gonna be oh geez so cheap i got real life petrol be that much 31 bucks for pretty much a full tank can't get any cheaper than that. Wow. So we're doing all right. We've got plenty of different upgrades we need to do. We need to get another fixing tool, obviously. We need to get all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, I did say maybe one more episode of this, but if, of course, there's enough interest and you'd like to see the series continue, let me know because I'm more than happy to continue it because I'll probably end up just playing it off camera if I don't get to play it with you guys. So it's definitely something that's pretty good, but I'm kind of wanting to see. He said he's got to auto list things, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but I completely forgot what to do here. I'm pretty sure we can unload all this stuff. Store from truck. There we go. Easy peasy. That's done there. And has he already got things listed? It looks like he's either doing it or he's done it because we do have this here and it is empty. So I presume he's slowly going to put things in. I think he is. Yeah, that's cool. He's, he's slowly putting stuff in. Now let's check that. So he's actually listing it at 87 when the market value is 58. Even the tape, he's, he's actually putting a little markup on things. And by the looks of things, he actually knows the value of things or the everything like that a little bit better than we do. So that could be good. He's got that at 21 when it's worth 14. So I'm actually okay with him doing this, providing we can actually make some money from it. But uh, that's one thing that is yet to be seen, really, because uh, it might take a little bit of time. We don't exactly have a whole lot of money to do things with at the moment. But, I mean, if we can actually get these prices for some of this stuff, I'll be pretty stoked because it's uh, it's fairly good. Uh, I presume that we're open at the moment. We are open, which is good. It is now 5.30 in the evening. So, yeah, there's not a lot else we can do for the day. We just got to hope that some people will walk in and actually start buying some stuff. And honestly, he did all that pretty quickly. And I didn't even know there was a spot here to list stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm very, very happy with him, provided that uh, things keep going well. Is there any upgrades we can actually do to him? I don't think so. And that's cool. The little cursor is a little skull at the moment. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, there we go. We can actually do it. The employee will automatically open a pawn shop and sell items in the absence, blah, blah, blah. 50% chance of haggling, which he'll haggle, which is good. 70% chance, 90% chance. That's really great. Oh, I like it a lot. Uh, one item in the thing. What's this? Not enough money. 
So does that mean that we can list that ourselves or is he still yet to list that? I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it's, I don't know, it's not eaten yet. So I presume we just don't have the space for it. Um, so she's going to try and do a haggle and they successfully haggled $21. Really, really good for that. It wasn't even worth that. I would have listed that at probably 15. So, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty damn good. I'll tell you after. Please be something actually worth the $5 tape. Really, dude? Really? You're going to go for that? I just want to know why I can't actually get the uh, table in. I think it's just because we don't have the space. So, I'm going to trust that he'll put it out once we do have the space. But we're actually selling a fair bit of stuff. We only paid... What was it? A hundred and something, maybe two hundred and something for that unit. And there's already all ninety dollars here, all the small stuff selling, but that's good. We're gonna go home and sleep for the night and let this guy hold down the fort until tomorrow. Then hopefully by then we're gonna have enough money to really make a splash and do some more auctions. But I wanna keep a little bit of a stockpile just to make sure that we can actually um buy some auctions. That'd be good. But I think in the last episode, it's been a few weeks since I played. We might have a loan. Oh, we do. We've got a $2,000 loan. <laughs> we did that to buy the thing. That's so frustrating. Because we're coming in here all fresh. Got a got a game plan going on. And then I just... <laughs> I just... I owe so much money. So there's a lot of money to be made. We've got a lot of work to do. So I really hope that we can continue the series. And uh, I probably will anyway. But we'll see. And if there is any other games you'd like to see on the channel, guys, anything that piques your interest, let me know, because I'm more than happy to oblige and play some stuff. All right, so it's bright and early the next morning. Got to check out things. I'm going to do an auction here. This is a level three one that I don't think we're going to actually be able to do, but they're both on at the same time, so we might as well try our luck, just in case. We had $390 to collect this morning from our pawn shop, so things are going really well over there. We're pretty much sold out, so we need some more stuff. I don't think we're going to win this auction. I'd love it if we did, but we're just throwing a Hail Mary just in case. There's not a lot in here, but it looks fairly decent. These decorations could be good. It looks like an old mixer there, an old bread mixer. You never know what's in these chests. So I'm actually totally fine with grabbing this if we can afford it. It's an expensive one. It's an expensive start. Not sure how it's going to go, but we're going to throw a hat in the ring. And if we don't get this one, there's a cheaper one that we should be able to pretty easily get uh, later on in the same complex, so we're not going to have to travel too far at all, but it's pretty hot. We've only been able to get, like, pretty much one bit in so far, and it's starting to go up now, up to 553, and I knew we were going to get out of that, and yeah, well over 600, so yeah, 633, we just need to get into that next little bit of a bit of a price bracket, and we're not too far off it. I'm sure we can do it, so we'll sign up for this one as well. It's just over here. We should be able to fairly easily get this one, and hopefully there's actually going to be some good stuff in it. Oh, it's all big stuff. I don't like this big stuff, but hey, at least we're close by. So that's that's the main thing. Little table there that might be worth a little bit. This stand might be worth a bit. The bed, and you never know what's in the chest. So I guess it's worthwhile. Probably not going to be worth a whole heap, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. We don't have a lot to work with. Ideally, I'd like to get it under 250. It's not very hot. There's not a lot of people bidding. It's pretty much just me and these two gals here, but... It's starting to heat up. Okay, I couldn't even get a bit in there. Everyone's starting to go ahead. Is it really worth 300 bucks? 350? 360? I really don't know. I really don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna have a crack anyway. 360, we should be able to make at least a few bucks on it. I'd imagine we could anyway. 366, we'll soon see the valuation as we float across the floor to get our ute. I just noticed that massive spider on the roof. That's kind of unsettling. Okay, there's corpses once again. Get rid of all this instant sale stuff. Get that all out of the way and then we can have a look at this kind of thing here bed 98 bucks not terrible it's just it's just a hard thing to pack in but i guess we can put other stuff inside of it so it might not be too bad is it stupid exercise balls they drive me absolutely potty having to load them in they're just really hard to hard to load in the little table there is actually worth a decent little dollar this thing looks pretty broken but even that it's a marble table that's why it looks broken it's the marbling. Got it. 70 bucks right there. So we're already almost about to break even. These Halloween decorations are actually really kind of good. So I'm okay with that. Grab that. We'll probably end up putting that into the trunk. This dresser could be worth a bit. 91 bucks. Not terrible. A rare helmet? 215 bucks. Hell yeah. I wouldn't have thought that'd be worth anything. But yeah, it is. 
That's excellent. We're pretty much already above the double our money ex uh, sort of part. So that's really good. We've got to go to an locksmith to unlock this chest. They're really, really worth it. But, you know, we'll try. We'll try our best and see what we can do. But now the tough part of actually getting this stuff all loaded up. I'm absolutely stoked with this helmet, to be honest. That's a really good find. It's an old Viking helmet by the looks of things, which is good. And it's nice to see a, a Viking style helmet that doesn't have horns on for a change. Because that's just... Uh, inaccurate and i've got a fair bit of interest in viking history so yeah and this ball i just don't know if we're going to get it to work and we we did there we go gravity defying stuff guys hey how the hell does that ball stay there but the chest falls off are you kidding oh this is just going to be a, a miserable thing isn't it trying to get this all sorted this is just a it's an art form trying to get this you got to quickly go over before it falls off and it actually looks like we did okay so i'm okay with that and it doesn't look like the chest is going to fall this time which is good. I'd love to just unload this stuff straight away, but we're going to whip over to the locksmith very quickly because then we can actually get the ball rolling on this chest before we end up getting back to the thing. But hoping that we can just do it from here. Kind of forgotten how to do it. Hey, birdie. There we go. Throw that one in there. 20 bucks to unlock. Definitely worthwhile. We do have to whip back past, but that's fine. we got other things to do in the meantime. Hopefully collect some more money. And before it goes, yep, perfect. Didn't look like it was going anywhere anyway. All right, I don't think there was much left in the store anyway, but it'll be interesting to see as he loads everything up how much we actually made once again. And we got 518 bucks there. Hell yeah, we're up to 742. That's a lot more than I thought we'd have. Damn. Keep up the good work, my friend. He's absolutely killing it. Wait, how much has he got that helmet listed for? 323. That'll be a game changer if we can get that for sure. These Halloween decorations are unreal. <laughs> Actually, so much fun. I really don't want to head all the way back up, and they're really cheap auctions, so we are probably going to skip ahead once again to the next day. But first of all, I'm going to go over and wait here and just see exactly what is in this chest as we can get that stuff all listed up as well and hopefully picked up and hopefully all sold by the time that we wake up in the morning. It'll be very, very nice. We've got all day to skip forward, so that'll be great. We've got an hour and 18 minutes to wait. So I'm going to do that. I'll sip me coffee and you guys won't have to see a thing. Okay, it's go time. After a nice long wait, we have got the chest unlocked. We're going to grab this and I hope to God we actually find something good inside of it. I'll get rid of this message because I don't like messages. Get rid of that. All right, what do we got inside here? Anything good? We've got an old wooden figurine, which is worth 140. That's good. And a notebook worth five. Honestly? probably a decent success well it's worth 140 and he'll probably list her up for say probably 180 200 so i'm actually really good with that considering we only had to pay 20 bucks to get that thing unlocked it's absolutely worthwhile and we'll go and see how much money we've made while i was waiting there in an hour's worth of work whoa hello go back in there please thank you very much uh store from truck uh what store from truck no items to pack oh they're all inside very good okay easy done what have we got in here it's pretty empty i like the look of that we've sold some stuff by looks things what's she gonna buy hey nothing all right 371 hell yeah we are up over a thousand dollars once again perfect stuff perfect stuff just gotta double check make sure there's no auctions that are worth oh there actually is okay 215 we'll grab that one and maybe even make it in time to get the other one we're going to rake in the cash today, guys. It's a really successful day so far. And fingers crossed there's going to be some good stuff in this one. Is it a level 3 auction or a level 2? It's a level 2, so it's better stuff than we got in that last one. And that last one was very profitable, so I've got very high hopes for this one. All right, inside of this one, we got we know for a fact these are worth about $200 between the two of them, which is fantastic. This old, oh, I think it's an old sewing set. That stuff can be worth a decent amount in real life too, so I presume it will be there too. And then we've got some other stuff there, so it's definitely going to be worth bidding on. I'm going to make sure we win this. No matter the cost, we are winning this because we're going to make some serious money. I can just feel it. Oh, we're up at 415 already. It's going up by 40s now, which is a bit scary. 535 is the most we've spent in quite a while. It might even have to be more. No, we're getting to 535. That's a ripper. I think we're going to probably... The value of this place has got to be worth over a 1000 We should be able to get most of this. 
in uh, one load as well, which is good. Really, really good. I'm looking forward to when we can uh, increase the value or increase the damage, I should say, from bad to good. That'll make a make a big difference. Uh, but the marble table, it's broken. We'll get that fixture up. 70 bucks between it. Perfect. We're going all right so far already at 139 value. 200 value now. This last stuff better. Better come up with the goods because we're not doing too well. A rare table saw. Once fixed, $137. That's good. This sewing machine, it's got to be worth a bit. 28 bucks. 39 once fixed. God, be worth more than that. Just breaking it down for timber. Jeepers creepers. I'm not sure we're going to make our money back. We're going to make our money back, but I'm not sure how much profit we're actually going to make. $100 for that pumpkin. Okay. I'm fine with that. And in this chest, it's got to be something good. Ooh, unique. So we got to go and get that verified. It might be worth the drive doing so. I'm totally fine with that. Toy wand and a chest. $10, but look at this thing. Jeepers creepers. Okay, that could be worth hundreds. I'm hoping it is, because otherwise we're only going to make $100 off of this unit. And that's not really worth my time. I did not have high hopes at all for getting everything in this truckload, but we absolutely did. Uh, or I thought we did. Apparently that doesn't count as being on the truck. So provided everything doesn't fall off again. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button, man. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon, guys. Can we do it? Can we? Can we do it? Okay. Everything. Oh my goodness. That usually always works. <laughs> oh, my life is falling apart, guys. What is going on? All right, we got it working. Don't know how, but we did. Okay, so I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so we're going to get this stuff delivered straight away so that we can go and get that stuff sold and ready to go. I think we're going to pretty much make our money back on this stuff. And then we've got that little tiny statue that we need to go and get verified. Get that stuff all done there. And is it in here? Or did they leave it in the back? There we go. Right there. And they left it right there ready for us to go. So we've got to go all the way up into the next town and get this thing verified. I've just make sure it will be under art, won't it? It's art and culture. All right. I know where to go. I will see you up there very soon. Okay, so we're just pulling up to this place now, and I just realized it's 7 p.m. So we're lucky that we even made it before they shut. But uh, hopefully it'll only... Oh, six hours and 80 bucks. God, it must be worth a bit. One thing I wish, though, is that we could actually camp out in our truck or a motel or something somewhere, but I just don't see anywhere that we'd be able to actually do that. Which kind of sucks, because it means we have to drive all the way down there every single time. Which is really kind of frustrating. The house there, we could spend $10,000 to get that. Once we can afford it, it's actually going to be worthwhile doing, I presume. Just because it's... I mean, look at the travel, guys. It's insane. So I'm going to have to drive all the way back down there now. And uh, luckily you guys don't have to come with me, but... It's, uh, it's rather frustrating, I will say. So they've finished verifying our item, which is always a good thing. Uh, but I'm really excited because considering it costed so much and it took so long to verify, I have a feeling that perhaps this could be worth hundreds and hundreds, which could potentially be game changing for us. So I'm not going to get ahead of ourselves, but I'm really excited to see how much it's actually worth. Let's go and have a look. All right. It's the most expensive potentially that we've got 319 bucks okay so we'll probably get around four for it but even so i mean it doesn't seem like too much it's nowhere near as much as i was actually hoping i was hoping it was gonna be like eight or nine or one thousand dollars or something like that but i'm okay with it i'm okay we're doing fine we're doing all right we're trucking along so we can't ask for anything better we started with 17 dollars in our bank account at the start of the episode and now we're going to end up with, well, probably close to a couple of thousand, or at least one thousand, uh, which is good. I can't complain at all about that. So we'll get this back and see just how much money our shop has made and see if we've even got anything left in there. Oh, we just made a sale, apparently. Uh, I just looked at the Renown and we made 45 Renown from that, so that's actually really good. We're going up there in this, uh, in this little town, so I don't know how to quite check it. But uh, I think it's similar to experience. I don't really know, but 
There's not a whole heap left in here, so I'm pretty happy about that. We've got a couple of things. Unfortunately, that helmet hasn't sold yet, and he's already put that up for sale for 479. Is she about to buy this? Is she about to buy it? How much is she going to spend? Is he going to be good at bargaining? Is he going to do it? If we can sell this straight away, I'll be so happy. Yeah, oh, it wasn't that. Okay, but got the helmet sold, which I'm really happy about. How much have we got in here? $1,492. We are at $1,700. And now we can finally get a specialization, which I really want to do. And I think that we're going to go with household. I just... I just feel like we find more of that stuff. It's more common. If we can get more money on that common stuff, I'll be pretty happy. So we're going to buy that, which would be great. And I think we got someone interested. Okay. I, I thought he was interested in this. I jumped out, so I didn't even see what we got. But we've got to... Oh, God. It's growing Empire. Reach around 50 in Blueberry Black Elk. Ah, West and East. That's going to be tough. Don't know how we're going to manage it, but we'll figure it out. If you do want to see more of these guys, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, that'll be enough of Storage Hunter Simulator today. Do appreciate you being here. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the very next video.